there, guys and gals. This is Thrice again with Salt of Earth, bringing you a little bit of a different thing here. Set up everything. Tutorial! <laughs> Tutorial time. We're going to be going over the Oculus Quest with Virtual Desktop and Shadow Gaming PC, which is my complete setup for not only flat screen gameplay, but also VR gameplay. And it is freaking awesome, and I, I forget to mention all the time, you do need a 5G internet connection, Wi-Fi connection in your home or place of work wherever you're using this setup but we're gonna go ahead and we're gonna jump into this keep this real short and sweet try to speed through just to show everybody how it's set up I will be going into more technical tutorials at a later time but for now we're gonna go ahead and just run through this to give everybody an idea because this is very new very fresh and I'm sure most of you can figure this out but if there are any technical issues make sure to drop down in the comments and let me know what your error is and I'll make sure to include that in the future videos so let's get into this All right, so first off, let's uh, kind of get you a little bit of an idea here. I'm actually using my one of my Shadow Gaming PCs at this very moment, and that's what we're going to actually start with. Is The full setup is going to be the Oculus Quest, a Shadow Gaming PC, the Virtual Desktop app, and again, your normal internet connection. And then the last thing that you actually need to kind of set all this up is either a computer, laptop, or tablet. Um, it can be a MacBook or a Windows device as well, or an iPhone or an Android device. So once you have all those things ready to go, you'll be able to connect them all and completely experience the future of gaming, both VR and, like I said, flat screen games as well. The flat screen games will actually kind of look like VR style games as far as the view goes, but you won't be able to use the controllers to grab things. One of the cool things, though, is that the joysticks will actually control both your head and body movement in most games when you emulate your controls as a gamepad. So the game actually thinks that your two controllers are one gamepad. Really amazing and totally awesome. Again, we'll have some more detailed videos that show this. And also, if you want to check out the live stream at Thrice369 on Twitch, I do stream daily after 5 p.m. Eastern Standard Time, generally till about 2 a.m., and there is an intermission in between, but you can always catch me daily in the evenings on Twitch, and you'll see some of that gameplay, because I do flat screen games as well as VR games. So, but getting into it, what you're going to need to do is to go to Shadow Tech, or Shadow.Tech is what I meant to say, and when you go there, it's going to pull up your local region so for me it pulls up USEN because this is actually a French based company as far as I know it's either Canadian French or just regular French I'm not sure um, and I, I did know but I have forgotten because I did a bunch of research on this company about a year and a half ago before it was available where I was at I was in Texas and now being in Michigan it is available in Michigan so I took advantage of it about six months ago and I've been nothing but happy I actually manage about three of these machines now and we use them daily So, like I said you're gonna go to shadow.tech and then it's gonna pull up the page that you see here and this is gonna be where you can either go to the subscribe button or you can click on the download button if you've already subscribed and you have an account what you can do is if you're setting this up on a new PC or a new device you can go to the download button and what we'll do is we'll click on that first and as you can see it's going to give you an option of a variety of options they've actually included Ubuntu now that used to not be available and then like I said it has Android and iOS as well so you got Windows Mac Ubuntu Android and iOS this is this is shadow gaming PC and I know they sell it as gaming but as you see shadow.tech it is actually a full functioning PC so we use one of the PCs is mainly as a Unity building machine, and it also has Blender and some other production software on it. And that's why we have another one for actual gaming that we have. I actually just set it up with like Siege, Mardo, Miscreated, Squad. All you're going to do is just click on the link that you need as far as what is proprietary to your computer, and it's going to be as any other download and setup. We're actually going to have another shadow tutorial video that's going to go through those details, but I do want to click on the subscribe page just to give you an idea of what it looks like. So one of the things that they do have going on is a 10-day experience. So if you go ahead and you order this today, you can try it out for 10 days for just $10 or $9.99. And actually, after that is when they charge you either the monthly, like by month basis, which is the $34.95, as you see there, or the $24.95, which is actually a monthly payment still, but it's a year contract. It's, it's kind of like a gym membership where it's not really a contract, but it's a contractual agreement, like a contractual annual plan, where you're just obligating yourself that you're going to finish out the year so 
as you can see here, there's a code there at the bottom. That's the last thing. If you look down at the bottom of the description here, we should have a code as far as what you can use to help support the channel. And it also gives you a discount on your membership, either the monthly fee or the overall annual fee. Okay, now that we're done with that, what you're going to do is you're going to jump over to virtualdesktop.net. And again, make sure that you have Shadow Gaming PC fully installed on your computer. And what that's going to be is a dashboard connection setup. So this is what happens when you go ahead and download and install the Virtual Desktop Streamer app. You get this little panel here. And you enter in your username. And that's your Oculus username. And then you have these buttons. So, and again, you're going to have these settings here. We'll go through those on a later date. One of the biggest things is I like to do cloud computer settings because that means I don't have to have it on the same network as my headset or my HMD. And then also you can uh, make sure to mute your stream audio if you want and start with Windows or minimize and trade. Those are some of the big things that I actually really want to check. But if you see everything that's checked there, generally that's what I have checked. So you can go ahead and copy that if you'd like. But I'm going to go ahead and minimize this. This is the shadow desktop login. So you're going to do your login information, which I will go ahead and do. And then we'll jump back in real quick so you can see. Um, we'll log into my other shadow account. So give me one moment. We'll be right back. Okay, so once you have logged in, <clears throat> to your account on your shadow dashboard it's going to ask you for verification code that is going to be from your email that you use to set up your shadow gaming pc account and that is connected to your payment that you set up so the one thing is is when you make that payment for the shadow gaming pc you may not have access to that pc for one to 24 hours that's kind of simply how it works depending on where you're located as I've said before, this company is constantly making improvements, and you will see the improvements in your dashboards as news updates every time you go to log in, and it is really cool with some of their updates. They are very enthusiastic and love to get the community involved and to show that they care about their clients as well as the community around their product. So as you can see here, it has an automatic bandwidth setting, so I generally go ahead and let this happen you can skip this but it does a really good job at testing out your bandwidth and seeing what was the best function but here we go this is going to be your dashboard and this is just as you see a little dashboard window you can go in here it's going to have your account information you got settings tab and then you also have a help tab all this is very very important you do learn to utilize every single piece of it it is very much that you have to troubleshoot stuff sometimes but their customer service is very responsive almost to the like hour of your message and they are very very helpful so that is all I'm gonna show you here basically what you would do is once you're all set up my shadow is off but I would click start again and it will boot up the shadow PC and basically without having to start a PC within a PC this is the shadow gaming PC right here we're already using one of the PCs as you can see if I actually minimize the opera browser here you'll see I have some more in the background but then you see this is the shadow gaming PC logo and this is the desktop for it so how cool is that so this is shadow gaming PC all set up once you have steam installed and you've got some games set you'll be able to access those through your quest using virtual desktop and as I said we've got virtual desktop installed here for the desktop streamer app alright guys and gals the last thing that's the missing link to all this is if you, making sure one you have a 5g connection is really important when it comes down to your internet at home to run this guy make sure also that you have over you know 50 megabits of download speed because if you don't have that then you're gonna have issue running the shadow gaming PC on one of your devices to either use a keyboard or controllers as well as you're gonna have issues streaming to the wireless headset because this is the oculus quest what you're gonna do is you're gonna take whatever oculus device you have if you don't have an oculus device and you're using a regular VR headset um, this kind of doesn't pertain to you what we're setting up here is really for complete wireless gaming experience so Again, the last thing you do is you're going to set up virtual desktop in your Oculus device. Do not purchase it on Steam if you're setting this up with the Oculus Quest or the Oculus Go or the Oculus Rift for that matter. Any Oculus product, you should go through the Oculus Store and get virtual desktop in there. That is the only one you have to buy. If you have a Quest, you only have to buy the Quest version. If you have a Go, you have to buy the Go version. Once we switch over where Quest is going to accept Go applications, I'm not sure if you're going to be able to port over the Go Virtual Desktop licensing to the Quest. I'm not sure. I, I, we're still kind of hazy on that because it hasn't happened yet. 
but I will make sure to update you all on that and how you can port over your Go apps to the Quest. Besides that, I'll make sure to have a video in the future going over virtual desktop inside the Quest so you'll see a casted image like you see on the live streams, Thrice369 on Twitch. But you'll see on the live streams as well in some of the YouTube videos, I do cast with the Quest wirelessly and stream video games while playing. And I do a green screen setup so you'll see me playing and moving around, either Beat Saber, now Sorrento Untethered, which is awesome. If you want to play multiplayer, come join me. But yeah. So many cool things happening with VR. I'm super excited to be on the forefront with my Quest and my Shadow Gaming PC. Two amazing products that I am just super in love with. And then Virtual Desktop. Thank you so much. Because even with the Quest Live Link coming out, I don't have a gaming PC. So the Live Link doesn't do jack for me. Having the whole wireless connection with an amazing virtual PC is just phenomenal. And these PCs run 8-core graphics cards, 8-core CPUs, 16 gigabytes of RAM. Ba-boom. And they are server-style graphics cards. So when I go into a VR chat world and people have all this lag or problems with reflections, I don't. And I'm using an Oculus Quest. So the app, the VR chat app on the Oculus Quest can't even look at most of those worlds. And here I am experiencing it at almost index quality. So I'll let you chew on that. I really enjoy doing videos like this, so if you enjoyed this video too, please hit that like button and hit that subscribe button for more content like this as well as all of our gaming videos we have on there. If you're interested in making gaming content or content like this and you want to join the family, make sure to join our Discord in the description down below and you can DM me or look at gigs and positions as we are starting to put different things on the roster there. We're always looking to feature people and create playlists for them for their channels if they want to be involved in Salt of Earth and support our concept of building community around gaming gaming, and technology for the future. So thank you again, y'all. Stay blessed, stay beautiful, and remember, it all begins with you. So I'll see you in the next live stream or the next video. Take it easy.